Hey guys, Delta Knucky in here, and I got some Battlefield 3 gameplay. We're hopping into this gameplay partway through because, let's face it, rush gameplays can go anywhere from f like 15 to 30 minutes. So, <laughs> I don't want to be sitting here for that long talking. I'm sure you guys don't want to be watching the same video for that long, anyway. So, this will be uh, just over 10 minutes, I think. And, um, yeah, we're going to talk about various things. I'm going I'm to talk about uh, the first. Uh, I'd say three quarters um, my impressions of the beta and the game at this point and then at the end there's a little update on kind of some stuff that's going on uh, so yeah I suggest you stay to the end to hear about that anyways <laughs> straight into my impressions of the beta at this point and I, I know it is a beta a lot of the stuff that I, I, I'm talking about will be fixed so um, hell even Dice has already announced some of this stuff's gonna be fixed. Um, but one thing we haven't heard anything about is the under the map glitches. Uh, not as present on the 360, uh, at least from what I played. Uh, and on PS3, it's like almost anywhere on the map. You can go prone and be under the map, and there are plenty of. Um, and then there are a number of spots that are basically sinkholes where people will go and basically. Uh, just blow the area up, create a huge crater, and that would allow them to drop like 30 feet under the map. And the worst part is, probably the most notable, noticeable one of these is one I upload to my channel, and that is by the AMCOM station on the first set of, uh, of objectives. And it, oh man, it is brutal. It's, it, it basically makes it impossible whether to uh, fuse, to plant, depending on who is camped in there. And if I'm sorry if I sound a little weird. I'm I'm sick. My nose is stuffed up. Um, yeah, but that's just obviously that'll be fixed for the full game. But uh, it's probably gonna scare a lot of people away seeing something like this, and knowing that there's gonna be a huge day one patch uh, required to fix this. Uh, but on to I guess the positive side. I love uh, just the depth of everything. It's uh, Dice has said it's gonna take a hundred hours to unlock everything for a kit. So that's like every gun, every attachment for every gun, uh, stuff like that. And I don't think I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna put the time in to unlock everything for a gun I wouldn't like. But I like that there's gonna be a lot. There's so much depth to this game. There's, you know, four classes, a hundred hours each. Uh, I think well, that's four hundred hours. And then that's just like if you're grinding for stuff. Normal, add in normal play time when you're not grinding or whatever. You know. There's going to be a lot, a lot of playtime in this game, uh, and, and people talk about how uh, Modern Warfare 3 is going to be the biggest Call of Duty. Well, from what I've seen of both Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3 is going to pale in comparison to Battlefield 3, just on in t terms of sheer scale. The next thing is the the destruction, which is ha which has obviously been toned down for the beta. It was only a 1.3 gigabyte download, and you can even see by the gameplay, or if you've played it, because it is an open beta, there is nowhere near the level of destruction we saw in Bad Company 2 at this point. That is because, as Dice has stated, it has been toned down just for the download size. Um, you're going to be able to destroy basically everything in the full game, uh, including plants. Uh, yeah. But that is... Um, that's something I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing in full. I've been trying to actually download it on PC so I could see uh, like graphically how good it looks on PC. But Origin EA's basically EA's version of Steam uh, currently a piece of shit and won't download it. So yeah. Uh, but since I've just mentioned graphics, let's get on to the graphics. The graphics look great. Um, I know a lot of people complain about oh it's gonna be 30 frames. It's gonna be Oh, it's not gonna look as good. And yes, okay, it is not the it's not the PC version of this game by any means, but it looks better than Bad Company 2. Uh, it looks a lot better than Modern Warfare 2, and Mo Modern Warfare 3 doesn't look uh, a lot better than Modern Warfare 2 at all, really. Um, so basically, there you go. It's it is a damn good looking game. It's a spectacular looking game. One of the best looking games to ever release. Uh, Multiplat. Uh, yeah. And I'm just talking in terms of consoles, obviously PC, you know, you can constantly upgrade that technology, whereas consoles are six-year-old tech, you can only do so much with it now, right? 
but still, uh, the 30 frames, yeah, I guess that, you know, you do notice the difference a bit. Uh, I haven't noticed too much slowdown in terms of frame rate, uh, but really, if, if you're going to be that picky over the, over the frame rate that you're not going to play a game this good, whatever, I'm not going to argue with you, right? That's, that just shows me that it's going to be a waste of my time, because I'm, I'm not going to be able to convince you otherwise. Uh, but yeah, it is 30 frames, it still looks really good. Um, it, very smooth, the controls are great, they're really responsive. I, I remember the first day the beta was out, people were, like, shocked. Just like, I, when, when I think Battlefield, I expect these kind of slow, slug, sluggish responses. But it, w it was really good. Um, I guess that's kind of a, a role taken over by Killzone now, though I still love Killzone too. Uh, I've just gotten used to the, the controls. But back on topic, back on topic. Uh, as you just saw there, the flashlights, that's a bit of a hot, uh, hot topic, because they're annoying. Um, it, it is annoying to get blinded by them. I don't mind being the one blinding others with it, but, uh, just because I gotta do that, I think it's fine that people can blind me. What really annoys me is that your own teammates can blind you. Um, I've seen some people suggest that it shouldn't blind you at all. I don't think that's the case. I think the effects should just be less. Right, it might you know might affect you a bit, but not like oh, I can't see a damn thing. What's going on? Type thing. Like if an enemy shines their flashlight on you from five feet away. <laughs> um, and to be honest, I just love the people that forget to turn it off when they're outside on this map because that the flashlight doesn't really affect me, and now you just become a much easier target for me to hit. Um, yeah. The next thing I want to talk about, I guess gameplay-wise, is... Uh, this is kind of... I guess some people think it's silly, but... Come on. Leaping over the objects in this game. So much better than Call of Duty. It, like, I guess part of that is, um... You know, from DICE's experience with Mirror's Edge. But it's... it's I don't know. Any game that makes that, I guess, fun is good in my books. Because it is. It's really amusing. It's a lot of fun just to jump over stuff to watch the animation, and the animations look spectacular. They've uh, DICE has borrowed tech from the EA Sports guys. I believe it's the team that works on FIFA. Uh, I forget what EA team that is, to be honest, but um, th their animation tech, and it just looks spectacular. These are some of the best animations we've ever seen in a first-person shooter. Um, blows away the competition, blows away Bad Company 2. It, it just looks great. Um, Sound design, sound design, don't even, do I need to elaborate that much? It's DICE, it's Battlefield. I think it, most people, if not all gamers, will know what they're getting from a DICE game, especially a Battlefield game in terms of sound design. It's absolutely brilliant. You have the soundtrack, the Battlefield theme is back. It is better than ever, in my opinion. I love it. And just the, the guns, the explosions... All sound spectacular. Uh, like I, I don't know what to, uh, how to elaborate on it more than that. It just sounds great. Everything sounds so good. Um, I guess the only thing I can say, sound-wise, at this point, and I guess a negative light, is that uh, voice squad chat is broken as shit. But squads in general are broken at this point. Um, there are, as I understand, they have been fixed already in the full game, but they're, they're broken as all hell right now. You, uh, you get split up on different teams, and even if you're on the same team, you often don't end up in the same squad. So, it's, it's kind of more like an Xbox Live party, and you just all got put in the same match, randomly. Instead of, you know, you're in a squad, you play with those guys, you're on the same team, same squad type thing, like Bad Company 2. But obviously... That will be fixed if it's. I believe it's actually fixed already in the full version. Uh, and on that note, the beta won't be patched. It's only going on for like seven more days, so I don't, it, you know, don't expect it to be. Um, anyways, I don't really know what to add on to it from there. Is this gameplay, this last round here, is going to go really quickly? We just blaze through them. So I guess uh, I'll switch over. You know those were my impressions of the game. Switch over to this update thing, and it's regarding uh, the game walkthrough channel. I know I haven't been posting on it. Um, part of that is, uh, there's a number of reasons for that. Part of it is that my heart isn't really in the channel anymore. Uh, part of it is that the views aren't there, at least for uh, Resistance 3 and uh, Tony, who's doing White Knight Chronicles 2 right now. The views just aren't there. Um, so after kind of overlooking things, I'm still, I'm still not 
decided here, but uh, I very, I very, Mary, ah, I very well may be shutting down the game walkthrough channel, folding it into my own channel in a way, uh, because I, you know we're splitting the audience here, right? We have, <clears throat> I'm sure many of you are also subscribed to Game Walkthrough, but then there are a lot of people subscribed to Game Walkthrough that aren't subscribed here, and vice versa. <clears throat> so I figure combine it, have this one channel, and what'll happen is uh, that means I'd implement a, a more structured schedule on this channel where you get uh, two or three videos a week, uh, a regular like the mystery box, uh, an episode of a Let's Play, and maybe a regular commentary, depending on whether I have something uh, worth talking about and a good gameplay. So, um, I've not decided on that yet, but that could be the direction we're going, where uh, the vi the channel becomes more um, Let's Play focused with the, the occasional commentary, and of course the mystery box, which those of you that came from my old channel will remember. I'm bringing that back on Modern Warfare 3 because, you know, you guys liked it, so I want to I wanna revive it, I want to do a better job of it this time, be posting it more regularly. But um, that's gonna be a thing again. So that that really about does it. I'm gonna plant this here, and the the game will end in like 45 seconds. But yeah, that that could be what's what's happening. I'm I'm leaning towards doing this. I'll probably make a decision uh, by the end of the week. Uh, and if I do, you know, it will have been a good year on game walkthrough. But uh, I need to focus on this channel, getting this channel partnered, type of thing. And I just bumped my mic way up, um, but that's that'll probably that's I, I'd say count on that happening. That this channel will uh, I'll start doing let's plays and instead of uh, kind of rushing to get these like eight hour long games out. I'll focus on um, I'll, I will take a little more time and I'll be doing longer games like uh, Dark Souls, Skyrim, stuff like that. I will still do a shooter if you guys want, uh, and I will accept your input on what game you want to see me do a let's play of, uh, if I do end up doing it on this channel. Um, but yeah, that that does it. Going, We're over 12 minutes now. Uh, yeah, if you like the video, comment, like, and if you want to see some more, clickety-clack that subscribe button. I miss it being the color yellow. Um, yeah, that is, that's it for me. Uh, see you guys.